Hi everyone, my name is Jacques-Christophe Chouna. Today we'll learn how to install Git and GitHub in VS Code. So I have VS Code already installed and what I will want to do is I want to make sure that I can uh, directly commit to my GitHub account using VS Code. So the first thing is to go into your VS Code uh, VS Code application, and then you want to make sure that you have Git installed on your, your computer. So what you can do is you can go here and open your comment prompt and write Git Git version. And if you haven't have this Git version showing up, that means you haven't installed it. So I I urge you to watch uh, my tutorial on. Uh, install git so you can go to my website and you can have all the information on how to install git on windows and mac os here uh, otherwise if you have done everything properly and you want to now use git using your mac so now what you need to go is you need to go enable git in vs code so in order to enable git in vs code you need to go to the file tab and then go to your preferences. Once in your preferences, you go into your settings. And what you will type here is you will type git column enabled. And then you will have here, uh, and you will need to make sure that this box git enabled is ticked. Uh, then you will go to uh, code. We'll go to your preferences. Setting git enabled is done. And then you go to So now that Git is enabled, what we will need to do is we'll need to uh, go to GitHub and we'll need to create our own account. So you need to go to github.com and then you can uh, sign up for an account on GitHub. And once you finish signing up, what you'll do is you need to open the command line and set up your Git login. So you open here, you go comment prompt, you open the comment prompt and then what we'll do here is we will configure our login so we have git installed again git version okay so what we do is we git config global and then we say user email so now i use the email that i just used to to, to create this account so i would say me at example.com so that's the email i would have used and then i did good config config global user name and i'm christoph that's the name I've used. And then this is set it up. So now that I've committed my config configuration file, what I can do is I can go ahead on my GitHub account and create a new repository and say, uh, okay, VS Code Simple Tutorial. And I can create that first repository and make it private. Uh, I can add a readme file to, to get started. And I now have this VS Code tutorial repository. In order to clone it in VS Code, what I'll do is I'll come here and I'll use the clone URL here. Then I go back in my VS Code and I do Control Shift P. And then I will search for Git clone. And I will copy that here. Then it will ask me on what folder I want to put this so I can select this as a repository location. So now, as we can see, it's currently cloning from the URL we've given it. Uh, would we like to open this? Yes, I want to open this uh, in VS Code. And it will ask me if I trust the author. The author. So yes, I trust the author. This is mine. 
So now we can see here that we have the source control enabled. So if I just say, okay, hello.txt, and I create a new file, then I just close this, I can see that the changes were added here. So now I can just stage the change and just write my first commit, and then I can commit and just come here and push this. So if I go back, to my uh, GitHub repository, then, and I reload the page, what I will see is that hello.txt has been here. So congratulations, you now installed Git and GitHub within VS Code and ready to get started. Bye-bye.